Hey, Ryan here from AccuTune Off-Road, and I just want to take a chance to go over the DSC adjusters on the Fox shocks here. We got a lot of questions about what, what these knobs do. The first thing is just breaking down DSC, what does that mean? Dual speed compression. So in the name, we have dual speed, two knobs, compression. It only does compression, which is when the shock is, is compressing. So it's, it's like hitting a hard bump. How's a hard bump feel? That's what this is gonna do. So the first knob on the outside here is low speed compression. And now low speed is the speed that the shock is moving, not the speed of the vehicle. So low speed is like a G out. You know, the chassis comes in, the shock compresses really slowly. Um, that's, that's low speed compression. The larger knob here is high speed compression. High speed compression is like hitting the speed bump at 50 miles an hour or a curb or something like that. Like the shock has to react super quickly. And so when you're off road, you've got to kind of evaluate the circumstances of what you're driving through and figure out if you need to adjust low speed or high speed. Typically, it's a problem with the chassis where the chassis is the one moving too quickly and bottoming out. Um, like on a G out, that's usually slower speed. Things where the axle is getting shoved up real quick and it's bottoming out, that tends to be more high speed. Some examples of high speed stuff are obviously whoops, um, really sharp, like dips in the road, uh, you know, speed bumps, curbs, things like that tend to be more of a high speed bump. So a prime example of how to use your DSC adjuster is we just drove this Jeep from our shop out to the desert and, you know, it was, you know, 90 miles a street and then we did, you know, a bunch of pre-running and stuff like that. And so when we were driving out of the street, we had the adjusters all the way open. What a nice, soft, compliant ride. Soak up the bumps in the road. The tires are pumped up. They're real, they're real stiff. And so we like to run around with our adjusters fully open in that situation. Then, in this case, we got to the desert and we went, you know, and ran some whoops. And so we started adding some compression. The whoops we were on were really long rolling whoops. We started adding some low speed compression to them and stiffened it up so that it really had a lot more bottom out resistance and we had a lot more control as we were running through the whoops. Um, so that's, that's one scenario where you would use a DSC adjuster. Um, the other thing is, uh, you know, last summer I drove the Jeep up to Fordyce and went four wheeling for four days. And I packed, you know, a few hundred pounds of gear in the, in the Jeep. And it was sitting a lot lower from all the weight. And so I went and I turned up all the DSC just a little on the street to get some more control and prevent bottoming out just on the drive to the trail. And then when I got to the trail, I stiffened them up even a little bit more because the tires were aired down and you know we're you know bouncing through the trail, hitting some hitting some harder obstacles, um, you know, and it was bottoming out a little bit here and there. So we just turned the DSCs up and prevent it from bottoming out. So that's a couple scenarios where you might use your DSCs and kind of how they're gonna help you you know, make the, the fine tuning you need so that you're not bottoming out when you're off-roading. So the, another question we get a lot is, should I get the DSC adjusters? If you're the type of person that thinks you're gonna go out and actually make the adjustments, um, whether it's because you added weight or to do the fine tuning for the whoops, then the adjusters gonna be great. You're gonna get the benefit out of them. You're gonna make the adjustments, you're gonna get underneath. You know, sometimes depending where they're positioned, they can be a little hard to get to. But if you think you're gonna go through the effort of making the adjustment, it's worth it. Now, if you're a person who's gonna say, I, I don't wanna you know, bother with that, I don't wanna get out, I don't wanna stop, I don't wanna slow down, I'm not sure what to do, stuff like that, and you don't think you're gonna use them, you know, then don't get them. You know, it's, it's really what's for you. you know, they're not the cheapest thing out there, and so if you're not gonna use them, you know, then don't get the upgrade. Most of the suspension kits we offer are available with or without compression adjusters. So whichever way you decide, if you want them or without them, we've got something to offer you. If you've got some more questions about the adjusters or how they work, some of the fine details of what's inside of there, we have some tech articles on our website, accutuneoffroad.com, that go into a lot more detail on exactly what the adjusters are and how they work. And if there's any questions that we haven't answered, feel free to drop a comment down below or send us an email at sales at accutuneoffroad.com. We'd be happy to help. Thank you.